It's another night. I'm at the grill, and tonight it's time for steak and taters. All right. So now we take our potatoes and we're going to cut them. We cut them right in half, or not all the way through, just a good little split there, and then a score down uh, down the sides to kind of open it up just a little bit. Uh, see, you got to cut there in those little slits like that. And then we use some butter. Coat it up in butter a bit. Then, once you got the potato all lathered through, you just wrap it up in foil. Now, if you're wondering about seasoning and whatnot, well, don't worry about that. We'll get to that in a little bit after they're done. But right now, we just want to get make sure that the we get a little bit of they get that butter coating on there, and so the heat will do the rest with that. Right now, it's time to put them on the coals. So we take each potato and we're going straight on the coals with these potatoes and they're gonna cook through right straight on the coals, just like that. Now, while the potatoes are cooking, we're gonna give that a while. It's gonna take the, they're gonna take the longest to cook. So while they're cooking, we're gonna prep the steaks. All right, after we stopped uh, recording, I actually uh, moved the grates over, over the coals, so, you know, get those hot, heated up while they'll be ready for the steaks. I haven't started prep on the steaks yet because uh, we've been a half hour cooking on the potatoes. We wanna move them around and on the coals a little bit and rotate them over just to get a little bit of uh, even cooking and, and whatnot. And it helps stir up the coals a little bit too and keep the hot heat going. Best thing about these potatoes is that, you know, you can keep them as a baked potato or what I'm going to do is kind of basically mash them up, use them as mashed potatoes and peel off the peel. Well, all right, what I've got here is a couple of top sirloin fillets and we're gonna sprinkle them up with a little, little bit of Montreal steak seasoning. Now, I get this prepackaged stuff because, you know, I'm poor. <laughs> it's pretty much made up what you would normally have in any other seasoning. It's got black pepper, red pepper, salt, and a little bit, a couple other uh, seasonings in there. And so you'd be a little generous with it. And then rub it in there a little bit, spread it all around. Flip them over. And dust on some more. And massage that in there. Take that and put that on there. And then I'm gonna cover the grill back up. We get the steaks, get that good smoky char flavor in them. All right, we got some good color coming through the steaks. Time to flip them over for after about a few minutes. Yeah, there we go, looking good. I know some people like their steaks rare, other people like them a little bit more well done. I'm more of a medium type person. Gets my steaks nice and medium. All right, let's take a look and see what we did here. We did, I did rotate them a little bit in between takes, so uh, the one that was in the front is now in the back and vice versa. Medium temperatures, we get them around an te uh, internal temperature of 145 degrees. That's what we did there. Just wanted to get a little bit more char into the flame here on this one do that so now we're going to take them off and that's looking good there now we're going to let them rest and it'll be time to tend the potatoes all right we got all the potatoes out of the peel now if you wanted to do baked potatoes i had it in the coals for an hour and a half i mean you could take them out of the coals after a half an hour and then put them up on the rack and let them cook through the rest of the rack that won't char off the skin like it charred up mine so of course you know it just takes a little trial and error sometimes with cooking so now we take a little seasoning salt this is that seasoning salt that we all know the name of but they don't sponsor me so i'm not going to talk about it <laughs> and we get a little bit of black pepper and i have some oregano here Also, some rosemary. 
put that in there as well. And then we're going to mix all of that up. Then of course, if you want to put cheese on it, you can put cheese in it as well. But in this case, I'm not going to do any cheese, but what I'm going to do is a little bit of guacamole. Make some guacamole and put it in there. And then I'm also going to take some sour cream. that in there as well. Now we mix all that up. All right, time to give our steak and potatoes a little bit of a taste test. And here's how they came out. Looking really good. There's our Montreal steak and the potatoes. How does it come out to a consistency of like potato salad, but not quite potato salad. And so, well first I'll try the potatoes. Good. You got that guacamole and uh, smoky taste in there. Comes out good. Also, the steak. It cuts tender. Cut it in the middle here so you can see the consistency of it. I got it more of a medium well than I did of a medium. But let's give it a try. That's a good tender steak. Good Montreal steak flavoring. It came out just right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy and hope to see you again soon.